of the R array is smaller of the two and hence we copy that element into A. So that is the idea. Uh, you can see the merging process working along both the arrays at every step comparing the two elements and picking up the smaller of the two elements and uh, copying that smaller element into the A array. Now I have to almost we have come to the end but we have to uh, just understand there are two while loops at the end. Uh, this, this part of the code is a bit tricky. What it means is when we have the L array and we have the R array, then when you are working uh, simultaneously along the L array and along the R array, one of the arrays may get over earlier. If they are, of, they are not of equal size, then of course, uh, and also depending on what elements are in those arrays, you may pick up more elements from one of the arrays and less elements from one of the arrays because the if the R array, for example, has uh, higher elements, then most of the time you'll pick up elements from the L arrays, L array, and this will get over. You'll reach the end of the L array. Then what you have to do is you have to copy the remaining elements of the R array. Suppose at that point when you have reached the end of the L array, you are here in the R array. So you can safely pick up these remaining elements of the R array and copy them to the A array, our final array. Why? Because um, they are already sorted and there is nothing to compare here. So simply pick, uh, pick them up and put in the um, A array. Your purpose will be solved. So those two while loops are actually, both of them will not be executed. For a particular merging call to the merge procedure, only one of them will be executed because only one of the arrays will get over uh, earlier than the other. So um, there are two while loops here, while i less than equal to n1 do. What it means is the remaining part of the array, what I was explaining here. So if uh, this array has been left behind, some part is remaining, then that one you copy. Or the second while loop is if the other array is um, not completely traversed, then you copy that.